Hello and welcome to my opinion of EVE Online as of 2016. Everybody are talking about World of Warcraft at the moment, so I thought I'd make a rant about EVE Online instead. And EVE Online is a complicated game, much more complicated than its smaller brother World of Warcraft. But these two online games have complicated each other for quite a long time. Many online games have died, but these two are still around. Kudos to them for that. World of Warcraft has changed a lot over the years, while EVE Online has not. Change can be a good thing, and in World of Warcraft's case, we can put that in debate in another video. Or, I already did, so you can watch that here. But video is all. Of, but this video is all about EVE Online. For those of you who don't know a lot about EVE Online, here's a quick recap. EVE Online is a sandbox game i.e. a game where the company, in this case CCP, makes a world for players to play in but put in no story during content for players to follow. Yes, there are some missions you can do, so called agents, meant as tutorials to learn the game, but EVE Online is really about two toddlers interacting with each other on who gets build the biggest sandcastle. It is a sci-fi game with four different factions, but which are all human, so no orcs or undead here and everything happens in space. The space you fly in are divided into solar systems which have 1.0 security level down to 0.5 in the most safe regions and 0.4 down to 0.0 which is not governed by police. So there you will get shot by players without getting shot by police. So far, so good, right? You can build ships, structures, and gadgets, which you in turn can use to destroy other players' ships, structures, and gadgets. CCP makes profit out of your time in EVE Online by you buying money if your neighbor toddler has destroyed too much of your sandcastle, or spending time earning money for new stuff for your sandcastle, because the more time you spend in EVE Online, the more months you'll be paying for. So yes, EVE Online costs each month, just as World of Warcraft does. Okay, so I meant to make this short, but this is EVE Online in a nutshell. If you want more info on the game, just do a search for EVE Online on YouTube. You should find a lot of trailers, which should be plenty to get you drawn in. Pay in mind, though, that the trailers bring out the potential in this game, and there is a 1 to 10,000 chance that the awesomeness you saw in the trailer will actually happen to you. Now, I've been around since about launch of the game, and here is my opinion about the game. So yeah, if you disagree, there's no need to flame me on this channel. This is an opinion, it's not the end of the world, troll comments will get deleted, hate comments will get reported, and general BS will also get deleted. So here we go. You ready? My main problem with EVE Online at the moment is that there is no WOW factor anymore. Everything is so balanced now that the WOW factor in EVE Online has come to a definite halt. Every ship regardless of race are now exactly alike stat-wise. There is no unique ship anymore within a certain class, because every sh ship has almost exactly the same stats. The only thing that di differentiates them are now are the looks. And the only exception for this rule is the Rorqual. That ship is just nasty. CCP removed the option for anybody to be safe in EVE Online. If your ship is valuable enough, you aren't safe anymore, so the security status mentioned earlier doesn't really apply anymore. You will and can get blown up all over the place if you are in the right ship, uh, let's say a Hulk for example. I don't know about you, but my interest in EVE and why I wanted to play it is pretty weird. I just wanted to find out how much ore I was able to mine with max skills and 4 accounts, I, and I wanted to, to do this in Empire Space. So yeah, me in 3 Hulks plus an Orca paying for 4 accounts just to get blown up to pieces, I guess that's just how stupid you can get. So yeah, nowhere is safe, and that kind of fleshes out the community in the long run, which gets me to number 3. The community in EVE, at the moment, is pretty shitty. Most people in EVE Online are not friendly or good people. It may be that they are okay people in real life and that EVE Online just gets out the most shitty part of them, but there you go. Shock. The community in EVE Online is par 2016, as shitty of a cesspool as you can get in any online game at the moment. I've played League of Legends, and yes, pretty amazing fucks in there as well, but usually just stuck with these fucks for 45 minutes. In EVE Online, you can't escape the fucks. 
They blow you up. You look off. You look on again. There they are again with the mail with your body, just in case your day wasn't already ruined the night before. Every new alliance you join gets ruined because some jerk off wants to fuck the whole alliance, and the line gets ruined from the inside out. No news here, but here I got it documented for you as well. The big fish usually eat the smaller fish, but the big fish aren't usually just assholes. And guess what? There are no small fish left in Eve anymore. Sorry, but that's a fact. Eve Online hasn't changed at all since launch. All the big changes that were promised were never really explored further. No walking in stations, no walking on planets. I was really looking forward to leaving my ship and get into some bar fights with my character and some other ding dong. You aren't in your ship anymore, motherfucker. Put your money where your mouth is. But no. We're still in the same sandbox together, doing the same stupid ass stuff, wasting our time and getting blown up as a reward. Great. So, if you're stuck in the same sandbox which you've been playing in since when you were a toddler, you need change. You're all grown up now and want something different. You see the potential in the sandbox because the other roller coaster the kids are playing in isn't a fun roller coaster anymore. Because the guys who created that roller coaster, who are called Blizzard, removed all the loops and scary parts. So you are left with a sandbox you've been playing since toddler. And you see all these new plot toddlers getting in on the sand and feeling the sand out. And you just want to tell them, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, man. You'll get eaten alive. Get the hell out of here. But you don't leave the sandbox because you still see the potential. There's no potential in the other ride. So you stick to your guns, sit put in your little zone of sand. Maybe it would be fun if some of the roller coaster which the other kids were playing in, if we could borrow some of that and put it in our sandbox. It would probably be pretty stupid, it would probably feel totally different, but sometimes a grown-up toddler needs to taste a new kind of stupid. <laughs>